hello my beautiful friends thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel and welcome to what's going to be another sunscreen video i think this is like uh the fourth sunscreen video i filmed i've already published two brand new releases one is by uh watermelon wait it's glow recipes watermelon sunscreen and then tatcha's silk sunscreen seriously both have I mean, the Glow Recipe has watermelon in its ingredients and Tatcha has real silk in its ingredients. I will link those videos down below. below. Check it out. They are brand, brand new releases. Beautiful formulas both. Um, and then this is like another brand new release. This is from Super Goop. So we're going to be talking about um, this brand new release. And so, so yeah, before we get into it, if you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. We talk about makeup, skincare, this uh, video being skincare and especially my favorite topic, sunscreens. Uh, in fact, I love physical sunscreen and this is kind of like a, going to be an exception because this product is a 100% chemical sunscreen. We'll talk about why I decided to pick it up though, but I will link a playlist down below where I have tried, which includes videos of all my physical sunscreen videos. So I will, maybe I should change it to just sunscreens because all sunscreens are good for the skin. Yeah, there's like physical sunscreen is my preference, but if you find chemical sunscreen, which works for you, wear it absolutely just wear it so yeah so uh if you love this kind of content definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already and also give this video a thumbs up uh if you liked watching it so oh my god this hair is something in my eye and it's bothering me anyways we have a brand new sunscreen from super goop it's oh i think this is every single face is i'm not sure what that is if this is part of the mm, the name of the product or is it just like the slogan i'm not sure this is called the watery lotion so i know super group's most popular sun sunscreen is the unseen sunscreen which i have not tried so i don't know how which is also a chemical sunscreen so i'm i don't know how this is different from the unseen sunscreen but i wasn't gonna pick it up but then i saw because i just don't gravitate towards chemical sunscreen if it's just if a sunscreen works for you, like I said, definitely all sunscreens are good if it works for you. But I kind of like lean towards physical sunscreens. I love the zinc. The zinc formula is very soothing and absolutely just like calming to the skin. I love it. Uh, but this one I saw their marketing was like, this is like a next gen formula. You know what I mean? It's like this kind of consistency, this kind of formulation has not been done. We have like this, we, it's like a breakthrough kind of a next gen formula. And it was like, let me try this. I really want to know what this next gen formula is. So I don't know if uh, the unseen sunscreen is how different they are because I have not tried that at all. And what I really, really liked about it is it has a PA rating. A PA rating does not, uh, like, uh, you know, you don't see it in a lot of, like, uh, American-made sunscreens. I see a lot in East, uh, like, these Eastern skincare brands, Korean, Japanese. They usually have this PA rating. Basically, PA rating is a rating for your particular sunscreen, uh, how effective it is from protecting your skin from the UVA rays in specific, because that's the one that penetrates deep inside your skin and causes that irreversible aging damage to your skin so i was very happy that it has a pa rating and i believe four plus signs the maximum you get that's like excellent i think it's like most effective and it is water and sweat resistance and then it is um clean chemical screen active actives dermatologist tested non-irritating reef safe no synthetic fragrance and it is vegan so and then i believe the active ingredients are Avo benzone three percent, homo salate nine percent, octisalate five percent, octi octocrylene nine percent. So those are like the like the active ingredients, and it says that it is most suitable for all skin tones. And quickly at the back, it says that uh, it helps protect skin from a full spectrum of aggressors. The aggressors are UVA, UVB, blue light. IRA infrared and pollution so I'm very happy about how it like protects you your skin from 
all kinds of radiations if i'm not wrong infrared penetrates even deeper than uva rays and again it causes that irreversible aging to your skin so it's good that it protects also against uv uh, infrared as well if you're wondering why my skin is super oily and so greasy <laughs> this is it this is the reason so um as always i'm gonna do some arm swatches and did I say everything that I wanted to say? I think yes. So I'm going to do some arm swatches and then full demo. And then I put on some makeup on my face. And then I'll kind of come back to you guys with my final thoughts on the product. So stick around for that. So let's get into the swatches. Let me quickly show you the packaging. Super compact. Look at that. It looks like an actual face compact, like a powder. That's how tiny it is. Tatcha also has the very similar. It's not like a uh, like a cylindrical or like a vertical bottle. Tatcha also has like a the size of a compact. Literally, it was like so compact and tiny. Uh, so I'm so happy about it. So let's open it up. It's like just like a screw top, and then just gonna get this out even when you see it it's not runny it's not exactly runny but it's kind of you a, a lot of sunscreen is more denser but this is like more like runny look at that i just like moved it and you can see how like gel like it is it's like so thin and it's like i I'm, I'm not using all of my fingers because i want to show you how thin and watery this product is look at that it's just like it's disappeared almost like I haven't like fully blended it but you can tell like two more swirls and it is gone it is so watery the name fits it's a watery so what's it called watery lotion it is such a watery lotion it's like so so thin I'm not gonna lie I would definitely consider this formulation next gen it's not like the consistency is very different and very thin, very gel-like. It's like, look at that, it's gone. You guys saw how thin the consistency was, but at the same time, it's not drying at all. I personally, well, I don't have very dry skin, FYI. I have a combination skin. Um, it's in between, so it has like a fragrance, but it says it is fragrance-free, so I'm not sure where this fragrance or the, what does it say? It did say fragrance free somewhere so I just read it to you guys uh, so yeah that's what it looks like absolutely oh my gosh I really love it and I it's not just some kind of a marketing gimmick but I'm not again I'm not sure how the unseen sunscreen is or how it feels like because that is like their most popular sunscreen I like this one just because how compact it is how small it is and and really really so watery and so easy to apply on the skin so yeah let's get into the demo section and you guys can see how i it like blends onto the face and everything so yeah let's head on over right, there guys, let's see what this looks like on my skin i do have eye makeup and also my brows done and lip gloss but other besides that i have nothing else on my skin this is just like bare skin and all it's pimple and acne scars and hyperpigmentation and all this glory so let's see what this looks like so let's just give it a little shake and open it up okay we got that just gonna apply a little by little so you can see what that looks like that just like literally disappeared into my skin it's very 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 thin consistency look at that it's gone it's a very thinner i've never tried a formula that's like almost like like a gel to be honest it is so easy it is so easy i'm just taking a little bit and just like dabbing down there so i can get some sunscreen uh sun protection also in my under eye area but just like not pulling that is it so easy to apply i'm telling you it's like the easiest thing look at that just one literally one swipe and it's gone i would definitely consider this like a next gen kind of a formulation uh because um of course this is like a chemical sunscreen but physical sunscreens are usually uh, you, know, you have to work it into your skin i want to just apply a little bit more 
it's like there's like no need to like almost like a lip balm kind of consistency you know what am i saying i don't know, like almost like a watery oily consist consistency why did i say lip balm i don't know why i said lip balm <laughs> i'm not sure why i said that like watery oily consistency to be honest but it's like a you know how they have like dry oil kind of a formula it will feels like that it's like so 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 easy i want to put i am actually running out in like 40 minutes so this is a perfect time to just put sunscreen because of you know this is a chemical sunscreen and it takes like 30 seconds for it to like activate so i'm really making sure uh, and it's like in the afternoon where the sun is like crazy out there to get us our skin so i read and that's why i'm making sure i get like proper sun protection so that is it guys that i know it's like super 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 glowy absolutely glowy and it's just like a dream to put it on it's definitely a dream like very 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 next gen kind of a form like and see the difference so i'm quickly gonna put on set my face with powder and put some blush and highlighter and be right back all right guys i am back i didn't really put on a lot of like heavy layers of makeup uh for blush and highlighter i used the natasha denona's glam palette i just used the blush and highlighter in here and i just like took a big fluffy brush and just like set my face set the sunscreen with this powder laura geller's baked balance and glow in tan so i just didn't really stamp my face with a lot of powder or set it per se i just like finished it off with just the glowy powder so not like a good strong base or anything so it's basically what you see is kind of like my skin basically my skin then for the lips absolutely ultra shiny actually i didn't really take the lip gloss off completely that's the one that's why it's adding a lot of shine but this ysl's velvet cream is not this shiny to be honest maybe i should blot it out a little bit anyways maybe we'll do it later so that is what i have on my face i i did my makeup so let's talk about my final thoughts on the product usually i don't really gravitate towards chemical sunscreen i'm not blown away by them I'm like fine it works okay but i'm always like uh you know like a big supporter of physical sunscreens but this formula is delightful guys it's like so easy such a dream to apply you guys saw in the demo section how i literally just put a little bit and swatched it just swiped it across the skin and it just like disappeared almost like a gel it's like a gel formula and so lightweight and the fact that it has a pa rating of four plus signs and it protects your skin from uva uvb and ultra uh, infrared infrared what do I mean infrared what am i saying <laughs> infrared and then pollution like it's such a good sunscreen i really really recommend you guys try it uh i think sephora stores are open i'm not sure if they're giving out samples or not but if they are definitely give this a try it's definitely worth giving a try and even if you you know if you're still not going to stores like i am uh you can just like buy a sephora's return policy so so generous so i definitely recommend giving this a try it's such a fun sunscreen to use like literally you just need one swipe to blend this product into your skin it is so 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 lightweight um i love it i really do so all in all i cannot think even the slightest reason why i don't like it or any kinds of cons uh for this product all in all it's a fantastic one so so fun to use and just like i'm i'm delighted by how amazingly and easy it is to just like blend it into the skin and how incredibly shine i'm telling you do not rely on these glitter makeup or glitter infused like oils or stuff like that for summer to give to to give you that summer glow do not spend insane amount of money on those products they are such a pain in the ass invest spend that money on sunscreen like this and without any glitter it's going to give you sun protection and that insane glow well this is like for the face but i'm just telling you any sunscreen for that matter is going to give you that insane glow and sun protection 
so yeah that's just like my small advice unsolicited of course but i'm just like kidding you so yes uh that is it we have come to the end of this video hope you guys enjoyed this video the demo and everything and my final thoughts hope this helped you make a decision are you buying it or not let me know down below in the comment section and yeah i'll see you guys very soon